Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Let me just take a second and get set up here. Oh, just have to make sure I have the app on my iPad in case there's any questions that come in. Okay. <clears throat> All right, awesome. All set. Okay, so tonight. I'm working on some wine glasses and a wine rack. I'm going to be doing them in a beach theme, but I wanted to show you real quick some wine glasses that I've done in the past because there's a lot of different designs you can do on these. Um, so these are some that I poured and from the top, if I flip them over, you can see the designs are still really super visible and they look really cool. And the glasses are right side up from the bottom um, so for these I just did a clear resin and then I drizzled the color in there and then I just swirled through it with a um, toothpick very similar to making uh, 3d flower coasters so that's how I made these these two I actually made these on a live on my Facebook page so if you go check out my Facebook page which is also under Tifton Studios, you'll see I, I poured these, this was probably sometime this past summer, so it's a little bit old, but um, this one, I poured the clear and then just drizzled some yellow and pink mica, and then this one was kind of similar to these, but I used silver, and then there's a little glitter in the center. So lots of different designs you can do. Um, tonight I'm going to try something that I've never actually done before. I'm going to try and get some waves, some ocean waves and cells on the glasses. I don't know how that's going to go. I might make a complete mess and have resin everywhere because you have to blow the, the white to get the cells. And when I'm blowing, I may just blow the resin right off <laughs> the, the um, glass. So we'll see how that works. Um, but I'm going to try it. <clears throat> and then these glasses, I'm making them to go with this wine rack that I got. And you can see in this picture here, that's what it looks like when it's assembled. So the top of the wine rack, I want to put like a little bit of an ocean scene with some waves. So I have that here. It's prepped and ready to go. So let me just move these out of the way. I was smart I'd have wine in those <laughs> all right so I've got this sitting here I'm just gonna slide this up out of the way for now so I can work on these um I do have some molds sitting here too so these are little wine caddy molds um I got these from Bear Woods um I get a lot of stuff from Bear Woods actually all the colorants I'm using tonight I got there the epoxy um I do lives on the Bear Woods channel a couple times a month on their Facebook page. So I'm pouring these tonight. I'm actually going to be pouring these on Monday, next week, Monday, um, on their Facebook page. And I'm going to be pouring these to match the glasses I just showed you. So if you want to see those, be sure you go find the Bear Woods Facebook page um, and uh, follow it so you get notified. I also have this little mold sitting here. This is just a little, you can use this for jewelry, whatever. Um, I like to make wine charms to go with my glasses, especially when I'm doing a pair of two matching glasses. So any leftover resin that I have, I'm just gonna throw into this mold and just make a couple charms to go with these. So let's see, what do I have here? Um, I've mixed up four ounces of resin um, you barely need an ounce. You, you probably need a half an ounce per glass to do um, the bottoms of these. And then the rest is for here. I know this is more than I need, but just to be safe, I mixed up four ounces. Um, for my colors tonight, I am using... Hey, Sherry, how are you? Um, so I'm using two Mixols and an Armor Art tonight. So I'm using their Ocean Blue this one mix all and then I'm using the white mix all white and then the armor art this is turquoise blue 
I, I don't know if I'm going to have enough room to get all three colors in here, but I'm going to try. I'm being very ambitious tonight. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Got my fingers crossed. Let's take my sweatshirt off. I'm working up a sweat just sitting here. All right. So get my colors mixed up. So I'm going to mix up these three and then I'm also going to use some clear on this for the waves. So we'll see how this all goes. <clears throat> so one thing I've learned trial and error with doing these wine glasses is it helps to have a really thin resin. Um, the resins I usually work with, Naked Fusion is one of them. And then tonight I'm using the Moss Art Pro resin. They're more of a medium thick viscosity, especially if it's cold in your room. Um, so if your resin is a little on the thicker side, you can heat up part A. So I had my bottle with part A sitting in front of a space heater, a couple feet away from a space heater for about 20 minutes, just to warm it up a little bit. Um, that will thin it out. You can also set your part A bottle in a hot water bath and let it warm up. Warmer resin is thinner. Or you can use a thinner resin. And a couple thinner resins that I use, um, Resin Rockers is actually really super thin. And then, what's the other one I have over there? I think it's called Extreme Resin is the other one. So those, those are pretty thin. But like I said, when you're doing these glasses, you want really thin resin. If it's too thick, it doesn't spread out very well or very quickly, and then it's super easy to accidentally overflow these because <laughs> they barely take any resin. I'm just going for a nice deep blue. I don't mind if it's slightly translucent. Um, normally when I pour these glasses, I try to pour them so that the design looks good from the top from either way, on um, the top or the bottom. But since these are gonna be going into that wine rack and the bottom is really what's going to show, um, I, I'm focusing more on making sure the bottom looks good. These Armor Arts are pretty thick. I don't wanna overdo it here, let's see. These are more like a thick paste. So how is everyone tonight? How was your New Year's? We actually got COVID for New Year's. <laughs> so, uh, yes, it was so much fun. Started feeling a little uh, tired New Year's Eve and then all last week, both of us were sick. We both, um, he stayed home from work. I stayed in bed. I did not work. I work from home. But yeah, we did not leave the house all last week. It was not fun. Um, but we're both doing much better now, so. But because of that, I'm so far behind on everything. It did not get our Christmas tree taken down yet. Um, we wanted to make a trip to Goodwill and take a bunch of stuff over there. We did not get that done over Christmas break. It's just been, it's been crazy trying to catch up. It's, it's amazing how far behind you fall when you don't do anything for a week. All right. I think those all look Pretty good. All right, so a couple things to note before you ever pour on these. You want to make sure you have clean gloves because every time you touch the glass, you're going to leave resin on it. You want to have a baby wipe handy or a paper towel with some rubbing alcohol ready to go. 
because if this overflows, you're gonna need to wipe the glass off right away. So having something to wipe it off is important. Um, you're also gonna probably need to wipe around the rim. So having a baby wipe handy is a good idea. All right, I think that's everything. So let's get going. I'm gonna start with this blue. Now, these really don't take a lot of resin, like I said earlier. Between the two of them, they're probably not even gonna use an ounce. Um, so don't just dump the resin <laughs> on the bottom. You wanna do it kind of slowly and give it time to spread out before you put more on. Now this is gonna wanna pull towards the center because these are lower in the middle. Normally when I do just a clear version of this with a design, I'll just fill it with clear and then pour the design on. But in this case, I'm doing this a little different than usual. I don't want to have it like perfectly straight across. So I'm trying to make it a little more interesting here, but it wants to be straight across <laughs> because of it wants to like sink in the middle here. Kind of has a dip in the center. All right, I'm going to try this teal now. Um, Sherry, I'm actually in the US, I'm in Illinois, but Bear Woods is in Canada. Although they do ship to the US and their shipping rates aren't crazy for US shipments. Um, I don't know if they have maybe a US warehouse they ship from, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm originally from Wisconsin though, so occasionally I might have a bit of an accent where people think maybe I'm from Canada or from the UP. <laughs> I try so hard throughout my life to get rid of that accent. All right, so I'm just swirling these together just a little bit, trying to blend them a tad. And you don't have to worry about the edges being perfect yet at this stage. Um, once this thins out and you blow it around, it's going to move towards the edges anyways. And then you're going to wipe them with your, um, with your baby wipe. All right, so now the clear. I'm trying to be really neat with how I'm putting this on. I don't want to put too much and I don't want to make a mess. Sometimes that's easier said than done with resin though. The first few times I did this I didn't really realize where I was holding the cup. And you don't think about it, but the, a lot of times you get a little drip that falls off the edge of the cup. So I had little drips everywhere from my cup. So you gotta pay attention to your cup and what you're doing on the glass. <clears throat> All right, and I do have some drips, I'll wipe those up. All right, so now I'm gonna use a heat gun and I'm gonna use it on low. And I'm not really gonna try to blow anything around. I'm trying to just pop some bubbles and thin the resin out.
And I'm gonna go back and forth. I'm not gonna just dwell on one. All right, so the resin's getting nice and thin. It's moving like water now, which is really nice. And that's allowing it to kind of fill in and I can see that I have a lot of room left to add more resin. So I'm gonna come back in with a little more blue around the edge here. And I say a lot more room and everything's relative because <laughs> if this was a coaster, that would not be room at all. Sherry, where are you from? If you don't mind my asking. If you don't want to say, that's fine. I understand. <laughs> I'm just always curious, like, where people are tuning in from. Okay, so you're in Canada. Just blending this a little bit more. And I'm gonna add a bit more clear to this one. <clears throat> Okay, and you don't want to forget, we still have white to add, so you don't want to go too crazy. Fill these up too full. And right, now before I do the white, I'm just going to take a toothpick. And there are a few bubbles in the clear that are just sitting on the glass. They're just stuck to the glass. So I'm just going to go in and gently lift those off the glass. I don't mind a few micro bubbles, but I don't want big bubbles, you know, stuck in there. All right, and I'm going to hit it with a torch because the heat gun really can't get hot enough without me really turning it on full blast um, to pop all the bubbles. Let's get this little hair out of here. All right, so now the white. So this is gonna be the real test to see if this will work or not. <laughs> so I'm gonna do one little stream up here here. This is the dangerous part. <laughs> Moving it. Let's see if I can see if I can do this without spilling it over the side. Well, not bad. A little bit. All right, and then I'm going to put one down here on the clear. bad. I'm actually kind of surprised that that worked with the heat gun on low. Oh, dripped. I'm going to tilt this just a little. 
This one is fuller. <laughs> this one's fuller than the other one. I don't want to have a mess. All right, and now the clear down here. Now I've got this white where I accidentally dripped some, and I'm just gonna move that with my toothpick. Just kind of bring that into the other white. All right, so now I just wanna fill this, this one all the way up. I'm just gonna add a little more white, or clear, I'm sorry. I'm just adding the tiniest bit at a time, so I don't want to overflow it. This one is actually domed. This one is perfect. <laughs> this one, I think this one's domed now. Okay. I'm not going to add any more. I don't want to risk it. And I like to keep my surface really clean because... If you slide these glasses around and you slide them into a drip of resin, then you have resin on the lip of the glass, which is not a good thing. We want to keep the resin away from the lip. All right, so just popping some of those bigger bubbles again. Okay, so that's it for that. Now I'm going to do the board, make sure my hands are clean before I touch these. I'm just gonna slide these up here. Do you wanna see it close up? Let's see if I can do this without dropping my phone. Let's see here. Sorry, my lights are so glary. I think that turned out pretty good considering we couldn't really blast it with heat. Not bad at all. Okay. I actually just made a video, it's here on my YouTube, about um, doing waves. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I just posted it uh, about a week and a half ago, making lacing with different whites. And I'm going to do another one. I don't know exactly when coming up. I'm gonna do another one with some more whites and then I'm gonna do one with black and gold because I think some of the effects you can get with gold are pretty cool. All right, so now this guy. Um, so I have it sitting up on some cups and I've just taped off around the edge and then I filled the holes in, I stuffed some parchment paper in these holes and then I filled it with latex. I have my fingers crossed that that works. <laughs> if not, I'm going to have to drill these holes back out. Um, and if you weren't here at the beginning, this is the top to this um, wine bottle rack. And then these glasses go in, in the, the little slots. <clears throat> so I'm trying to make a set, like an ocean themed set. Actually, from this angle now, I can see this one does need a teeny tiny bit more. And I dripped again. Just... I can see it's not quite all the way to the edge, so I'm just trying to... These um, bases on these glasses actually have a tiny, tiny lip, which is really handy for this. A lot of them don't.
All right, so I'll just have to keep babysitting those while I'm working on this one. Okay, so when I pour um, on a board like this, if it has the vertical sides, you can either tape them off like I did, or you can try and let your resin run over, but it's not gonna stick to the sides very good because they're straight up and down. The only remedy for that is to wait until your resin is really, really thick. Um, that's really the only way you can get it to stick. So I chose to tape this off because I didn't want to wait for the resin to thicken up, being that I'm on a live <laughs> and making you guys sit here for 20 minutes while the resin thickened up isn't, isn't the most interesting. Um, so I need to mix up some more of that blue and a little bit more of the green. So I'm just going to take what's in here. I don't want to waste it. Just gonna add it to this, the bigger cups. That's a good idea, Sherry. I have taped, um, when I first started working with resin, I would get resin everywhere. So I have, taped things off that I knew I would be handling. And when I when I pour trays, my wooden trays that I pour, a lot of times I will tape them off because they take up so much room on my table. I don't have a lot of working space and I end up just kind of making a mess because I don't have a lot of room. So yeah, taping stuff off or covering it with something is always a good idea. So I did 10 drops. Um, I am gonna try and make this opaque now because this wood, I don't want the brown wood to show through. I didn't mind so much on the glasses if it wasn't opaque. So this ocean blue from Mixol is an opaque pigment. They have another blue, I think it's just called blue. Um, that stays translucent. So if you have both of the blues, depending on what effect you want, you may need to use one or the other. There we go again with this thick armor art. This is like thicker than toothpaste. I don't know if that's enough. That was really hard to squeeze out of there though. Let's see. These are so pretty. Oh my gosh, these glasses. There's more cells popping up as they're sitting here. I kind of think that bubbles help cause cells too. So I'm not always super concerned about pouring with bubbly resin when I'm trying to do an ocean pour because I think the bubbles rising up through the resin help add to the cells. I could be completely wrong. That's just a theory I have. <laughs> Hi Sheena. Thanks for tuning in. You just missed me pouring the glasses. Um, I'm about to start on the board now. Okay, so I'm going to start with the blue. Now, usually when I do an ocean pour, I'll do it in multiple layers um, just to get that three-dimensional look. So we'll see how this goes and what it ends up looking like. I might come back in a day or two and add 
a second layer just to get another wave kind of over top of these waves. We'll just see what it ends up looking like. I'm just going to spread that out. It has thickened up. It's actually getting a little warm, so that's good. It does seem to be easier to get um, waves when your resin is a little bit on the thicker side. It doesn't have to be like super, super thick. Just enough. Just help it out a little bit. I'm just trying to blend these together. some more of the turquoise and do a little less blending. It's kind of cool where the turquoise and the blue meet. There is a little bit of lacing popping up. And I think that's just a chemical reaction between the pigments. All right, now I'm gonna do the clear. Time for the white. And don't be afraid to use the white. You don't want to do just like a super skinny little stream. You need to you need to use a decent amount of white. So my teal has moved down. It is thinning out. So it's going to the lowest point on the board, which is um, this little low area for um, cheese, or I don't know what this is for, this little low spot. But I'm just gonna add some more clear in there.
this low spot is definitely making things interesting because <laughs> it's flowing down in the middle. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm just going to add some clear on the edge here. Too much clear. Now I'm just trying to kind of blend this. I want to get rid of this weird dip in the middle. If I can. I don't know if I can. Oh. I think it's looking pretty good. Add a little more white back here. Okay. Not bad. It's not really what I had in my head, but it still looks pretty cool. I am going to put a taller stack of cups on this end and try to encourage it to move this way. Maybe not quite that much. bring it down for a close-up. Make sure I don't have any resin on my hands. So yeah, it's not quite what I wanted. This um, dip in the center is definitely creating this weird V shape <laughs> with the blue. I may come back over it um, with another Another coat, try to blend that in a little better. But I did get some really cool lacing in there. Some neat waves. And then the glasses turned out awesome. I'm really happy with the glasses. So, all right, everybody, that's it for tonight. Um, I do have some videos in the works for the channel. I'm working on a clock video. And then, like I said earlier, I'm going to do... Um, a couple more with the uh, waves with the lacing i've got one more planned with whites and then i'm doing one with black and gold so all right thanks everybody for watching and i hope to see you next time take care have a great night